Welcome back, YouTube. Thank you all for tuning in. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. My name's Nigel, and we bring you finance information daily. So please don't hesitate to get the information that we leave here. Make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell. But with that being said, let's not waste any more time and get right into today's video. So today's video is how many credit cards do I need? So if you guys have followed my page up until this point, you know that I am 20 with 16 credit cards. I went credit card crazy this year. So many different credit cards, so many different lenders, different relationships. It was a, a different year for me this year. And um, I can say it definitely was um, enjoyable, eye-opening, and a very, um, you know, lovely time to get to learn all these different strategies and things about these different lenders. However, the question I always get asked by people whenever, you know, I'm talking to them about credit is, you know, how many credit cards I need? Should I open a credit card? You know, how do I manage it? Do I need one? When do I go get a credit card? You know, where do I get a credit card from? All those different things. But more importantly, you know, how many do I need and when do I open new ones? People always get freaked out about this because they don't understand what is going on in this credit world and they don't understand credit to understand the tricks that get thrown in front of your face. So a lot of the time I'll get this question because Credit Karma will tell you that you need three to five credit cards. Sometimes they'll tell someone they need four credit cards, you know. So this person may have three credit cards and Credit Karma will say, oh, well, if you get a fourth credit card, it'll make your score go up by this many points or, you know, another credit card will do this or do that. But what Credit Karma doesn't tell you is that extra credit card adds a hard inquiry. It cuts your credit age. You know, it, it does a lot of other things to your credit score other than just, oh, you know, this card is going to add to you, you know, payment history and utilization, which is how they try to make it seem like it's going to just instantly, boom, you get this card and it instantly shoots your score up. You know, that there's no there's no quick scheme to building your credit. This is a long term process you have to understand it's a long-term process It's built over time there's different strategies there's aggressive strategies and then there are more passive strategies um you know there's there's a lot of different strategies to building it however you know remember this credit karma experian credit sesame all these other companies that are giving you guys credit information you know they're great for you seeing your report um you know if they pull fico and always check with your credit monitoring that they're pulling fico but if your credit monitoring is pulling fico it's going to be a reliable score if not you know they're still going to pull for you an accurate report um that you're going to get off of a soft pull so it's not going to affect your credit and you know it's going to be beneficial for you to have these programs but remember they aren't charging you right they're free everything that's amazing is free you know all that is no it's not free and here is why credit karma is not free what they do is you know credit karma experience all of these different sites to give you your credit score for free they do what is called affiliate marketing this is how they make money so they tell you, based upon your score, you could potentially get approved from this card or for this loan or for this or for that. What you don't know is they're partnered with whatever company it is that they're telling you you could potentially get approved with. So if that's an American Express card, say, you know, if you click on that link, they may get 
a few cents for you clicking on that link. You fill out the pre-qualification, they may get a few more cents. You apply, they possibly could get a few more cents. You get approved, that's when the big bucks kick in for them and where they make more money. So, what they're trying to get you to do, remember, they're getting um, what is called um, PPC, pay-per-click. They're doing pay-per-click advertising and affiliate marketing. So they will tell you you need extra cards. They will tell you you could potentially get approved for certain lenders. Certain lenders may not be in your favor. Certain lenders may be in your favor. Um, you know, certain cards may not be in your favor. Certain times, it may not actually be of your benefit to apply for a new card. And they may still tell you that because their system is set up to make them money. Remember that. So we have to think about this. When we are applying for new cards, is this going to affect my credit age? By how much? If this is going to affect my credit age drastically, say I have one card that's a year old. If I open this card, it's going to cut my credit age in half, which would change my credit age from eight years to four years. Is that worth it to open up this new card right now? Is that going to benefit me or is that going to hinder me? You know, do I have loans and other cards and things like that? How is this going to affect my credit mix? Is this lender generous? How will this affect my available credit? Can this help my utilization potentially? Could this help me grow? You know, think about things like that. What rewards or what benefits does this card offer me? Is there a sign-up bonus? Is there a 0% utilization? Um, do I get, you know, uh, miles? Do I get points? Do I get lounge access? Do I get free TSA pre-check? Do I get free Amazon Prime? What benefit is this card giving me outside of just, you know, Credit Karma or Experian or whatever, other than them making a little bit of money? What is it doing to benefit me think about me first when you're applying for a credit card so the answer how many credit cards do you need if you are just trying to get credit and you're trying to establish credit to buy something large to be completely honest if you don't want a bunch of credit cards don't run out and get a bunch of credit cards you can build a decent strong credit profile with one credit card now depending on what negative things you've had in the past or how strong of a base you want or what your credit strategy is yes i always recommend to have three to five cards as a base um, if you're going planning on going down that route of applying for credit cards um, in the future or applying for credit in the future to have other strong references. But if not, one card can do the trick for you. With that being said, as always, I want to thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure that you are subscribed to the channel, like this video, comment on this video. Let us know how many credit cards do you have? Put that down in the, in, the, in the chat. How many cards do you have? You know, let us see that in the comments. And we will see you all in the next video. Peace out.